Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about Slides Mania and all of the fantastic slide backgrounds it has for educators. There are so many cool things you can do with Slides Mania that make your classroom engaging and uh, fun for your students, and it's really cool. So let's talk about some of the features that it has. So Slides Mania, it's totally free. It has helps you out with both PowerPoint and with Google Slide themes. And it has so many cool ways for jazzing up those slides. And I know a lot of educators end up putting together slides and then you're like, oh, I need a background. And then you add more time to your planning. And here, this is just all here and it's done beautifully for you in Slides Media. So just a few of the highlights. There are all kinds of templates and some of them are specific for education. Um, today, I'm highlighting the notebook style. Um, when you click on it, you're able to see all of the different features that you can have with a digital notebook. A lot of our students are going to digital notebooks since they have um, their Chromebooks and because we're going paperless and there's a lot of virtual learning going on. So digital notebooks are a fantastic way to have students keep all of their stuff in one place. Um, what's nice about the Slides Mania digital notebooks is they are different styles. So um, you can have more of a journal type template to um, more younger grade friendly to they even have like a yearbook template planning in a week. Um, there's so many cool different ways you can use these templates or planners. And so I like there's a journal one that you can set up. The template sides are wonderful. And what's cool about it, there's like little tabs along the side. So as you turn, you'll have tabs that help you organize it. And you can kind of see the different options that you have with the different slides. So if I click through, you can see the different options. You can type in your information. Students can add pictures. A lot of students use digital notebooks for uh, their science lab notebooks, which is kind of nice. You can also use them for journaling, for reflections. There's lots of different ways that you can use digital notebooks. There are also weekly planners, which are fantastic. Uh, you can have the ones kind of cool set up like an iPad. You have formal presentations um, set up and there's different menus you can put, but the calendar ones are really nice because you can get all of your weekly planner and your calendar all in one place. And again, have it all digital. It's great. You can share that if you have sub plans or um, activities you want laid out for students or even with families and parents, you can have it all digitally and just be able to share it out with families that way. Um, another cool one, there's certificates that you can use. They're pre-created. You can just add in your own information that you need to. For our younger students, morning meeting, it's always fun if it's kind of jazzed up and cool and engaging for your students at the start of the day. Um, and so there's some great morning meeting templates that draw them right in. Um, they know their days of the week then, and they can go through the weather and all of the different things that they need to know for the day. So that is available as well. Some other cool ones, there's very formal ones. If you're putting together a presentation, uh, maybe you're presenting to a larger group and you'd like something a little bit more formal, I also am a big fan of uh, the colors that are added in the Slides Mania templates. They're bright and they're fun. Speaking of fun, we've got our cool fun tab here. And there's a lot of different options you can click on. What's nice about these templates, when you click on them, you can kind of go through um, each one. There's a little description of them. And then you can click through the different slides. And it shows you what each one will look like before you're going to download it, which is nice. And then you just open it up in Google Slides, or you can open it up, download it to PowerPoint, and then you have access to that. So either way, they're really easy to get a hold of. And again, they are all free, which is fantastic. Um, if you're looking for something a little more simple, there's some of them a little more straightforward, not as bright and colorful. Some of them are a little bit darker, um, but there are some simple ones. There's popular that everybody, you know, is going to go after, which is kind of cool. I'm a big fan also of this exit ticket one that you can use, kind of planning around a fun fair. Um, but exit tickets are a great way for students to share out their information when they're heading out of your class today and understand what they have learned. Um, one of the last features that's really cool about Slides Mania is educate by educators for educators. So these slide backgrounds were created by other educators, and then they are shared. Um, there's some it's really cool that there's a physical education one, like a fitness board you can track. Um, and there's um, one for a book report, and they're a little more gamified. You can even play chess. Um, so there's a lot of different options and ways you can take these slides and then share them with others. 
And if you are creating all of these templates and you're looking for some icons right there on the end, it actually connects you to another cool site, which is Icons Mania. So you can find your black and white um, or your colored icons that you need if you need to drag and drop those and put those into your presentations because you need some images. Those are all there for you. So Slides Mania has a ton to offer. There's all kinds of great templates for both Google Slides and for PowerPoint. They're easy to download or just upload into your Google Slides. And there's a ton of different ways educators can use them. So check them out. Play around with Slides Mania. There is a lot of cool things you can do.